So people want to stop me from what I'm doing and say what I'm saying, but I'm going to do what I'm going to do. No, I'm just kidding. What's good, y'all? BC coming on here and doing a video. Wanted to talk about crazy, psychotic people in the workplace and how unique it is to run across folks who just don't know when to talk about what at what specific moment. And here's where I'm going with this. Alright, I can't speak for everybody else's work environments or storylines, but I can only speak from my own personal experience. And mine, right now, I'm dealing with one person, and most of the people who I work with are pretty cool. We can, you know, most people I can kind of spin it and bend it and talk about different topics, and it's not a big deal. But um, one of the guys I work with, it's odd to describe it because he, you know, he's one of those trying to be sociable and trying to be humble and hospitable and all that jazz but him and conversing with other folks is just not in the same spectrum or something I don't know like for example we can be he can walk in the door and everybody can be there and he has to know who each one of them each one of those people's favorite teams are so he can find a reason to talk to you about it like Okay, we the work environment I'm in, there's no water cooler, but if it was a water cooler talk or opportunity to do so, he would be the first one on the list to do it because he'd had to talk to you about Pittsburgh because he's a Steelers fan and everybody else being a fan of who they like and, you know, that just causing all this chaotic friction. And it kind of can become annoying and a little redundant because sometimes, you, you know, you don't mind talking about sports and talking about football, but it's a time, it's all about timing and, like, whether a person really feel like doing it because you gotta realize you don't watch all the games you don't seen all the highlights from the games when you bounce back around to the new week you're like okay if your team won your team won if your team lost you don't want to hear about it or even talk about it and this person just doesn't care and that's just how I look at it and I mean if he watches the video oh well but it's the truth um, now that's one side of the side, you know, crazy people in the workplace. Now I'm going to spend it on the opposite end, and that's the consumer slash customer. Um, this is unique, and I will say it because as most of you all, as I mentioned before, about people when it comes to, like, equipment and renting and all that jazz, some people have rented before and they know what to expect, and some people rent, and they think that and it's a whole new environment for them so they look at it as when they come in and do things they expect it to be like smooth flowing everlasting flawless when that's not going to be the case like a lot of how, how can I word this basically what some people look for when they come in they don't really think it through so it's like when they come in they're expecting things to go here 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 when it's like you you don't have con like the customer customers want control when they don't have control like the customer and the the customer and the salesperson or the employee or whatever it's kind of like one hand feeds the other like the customer without a customer there's no business without a business the customer has nowhere to go for business and I think that's what a lot of people don't realize and as we like me and my um, supervisor where I'm at now we had this discussion all the time about how there's a tendency or there's a knack where customers are so spoiled and they feel like you should wait on them hand and foot to the extreme where it's just not that serious and it's so true because what's coincidental is alright where I work at I work across from a car dealership so that means that, you know, and it's not like you saying that, okay, somebody's buying a car and they're coming to run a truck. But what I'm saying is, the way people purchase cars, they feel like it's the same way when it comes to renting equipment, where they feel as though they have the say so or they, had a, they call the shots on what they want, when it's really not like that and it's really not that simple. You know, you can think that it is, but in all actuality, it's, it really isn't. So it's just something that I think has been a problem in the in the environment, in like the work environment, or in the, you know in the whole process of working with customers and with employees trying to please the customer or satisfy. All about customer satisfaction. It's like it's so hard to meet that whole flat line, um, and, and and it's 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 interesting. It's it's amazing. It's kind of odd, but it is what it is. 
uh, you know, to cap off this this topic or cap off this whole thing, it really comes down to the consumer has to be well and knowing how to please, how to treat the customer without waiting on them hand and foot. And the customer has to realize that just like you're a customer, there are other customers who come in who are trying to get the same service you are. Except every customer comes in with a different mindset. Like I had somebody yesterday, and I'm gonna cut this short. I had somebody yesterday come in, they were getting a truck, and it was their. I could tell it was their first time renting or something because when they rented, they were quick to. When I told them to inspect the truck to see if there was any marks or damages, most people that go out to a truck from uh, you from U-Haul or from rental places know the truck done been used before. The truck gonna have like little scuffs and dents, like little stuff, but. These people went out there, and you would have thought they was looking at like a new car, like they were renting it, you know. And and it's, and I understand a whole 100. percent If you're renting a car from like say Enterprise or whoever, budget hurts whatever. When you're renting from them, yeah, you want something that's gonna not look like it's been in a wreck or anything. Any issues have come up involving it. However, when it comes to renting a truck, it's not really the same. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. So. So something about something that makes you, you know, kind of made my mind wander a little bit, and it is what it is. Like I said, so um, for those of you all, as you all know, next week is the holidays, so uh, Christmas and all that jazz. Um, if you have any requests or any music to kind of get your whatever you listen to to get through the holiday season, just post it, and we'll see what we can talk about and make some fun out of it. All right, y'all be good, stay safe. Blood, sweat, and tears all day. I'm out.